we've fundamentally changed the way the economy is structured and the way we're going to tax wealth in this country and, and wealth creation. Um, it, because keep in mind, it's not only the tax code, which we've re reformed, not just reduced the rates. We've changed the tax code. But we've also changed the regulatory policy, we've changed energy policy, we've changed a lot of the way the economy works. This is a structural change in the economy for the better, and it's not a one-time thing. And Josh Bolton suggested that if the Democrats take the House um, in the November election, that some of these changes, the tax changes in particular, could come under assault. What do you say to that? Under assault, but that's what the veto is for. I mean, that, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about that. What worries me more if the Democrats do take the House is that the progress will stop. We won't be able to do the types of things we want to do. We won't be able to move on to, to infrastructure, for example. We, we will probably have less of a chance to get this next part of the tax uh, cuts that the President talks about uh, done. So no, I think the progress stops because the Democrats, some of them don't believe it. They don't believe it's real. Real, but a lot of them don't want it to be real. They're heavily invested in this message failing. If, if we reduce taxes, we, we reduce regulation, we increase uh, energy independence, and the economy does well, and all these people in this room get wealthier, there's a lot of Democrats who don't have anything to sell after that, so they need it to fail. And that's what worries me if the Democrats take that. The, the, the newly minted uh Democrat deficit hawks. There's a lot of them. But there's a lot of newly minted Republican deficit doves. I, I, yep. I, to be fair, it's, a, it's weird the way, the way it works. Um, but but there, there's a worry um, that that's going to come back to, to actually hurt economic activity. But we had someone on, on last week that already has a finite number uh, that the growth has already generated in extra revenue that they said that wouldn't happen either. I think he said about 30% of the cost of the one point two trillion, whatever it was, that already thirty percent has been made up in uh, in GDP growth. Yeah, and I think the CBO report that just came out, that was that a C everybody yeah. talks about. Also, what folks I think have overlooked is that uh, even according to the CBO estimates, which we believe are low, again, uh, the economy at the end of that ten-year window is six trillion dollars bigger than it would have been without our our, our tax proposal. So. Put that on one side, but come back to a second about your, your Democrat deficit hawks, because there are a couple of them. Um, I worked with them when I was here in the House. Uh, Christopher Van Hollen, for example, in the Senate, and I worked together when we were on the House Budget Committee. Uh, even those Democrats who worry about the deficit, we have a fundamental disagreement over how to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. We think it's growth and spending restraint, and they think it's higher taxes. That is a fundamental difference. Um, and that's what worries me again about Democrat control. Not that they don't worry about the deficit. They don't worry about it as much as they say, but even those that do actually worry about it want to solve it by raising taxes, which I think we're proving doesn't work. Yeah. Um, hopefully, um, the economy will grow a little bit faster and make up for the increased debt service we're going to have as the Fed keeps uh, going up as well. Is, is that a concern that, I mean, I don't know how much we spend now just servicing the debt. But it makes oh, it hard be, to spend it yeah. on anything else. It'll be north of three hundred billion dollars this year, I think. Um, so yeah, no, we absolutely worry about there. There's no question. But growth plus fiscal restraint. We're, 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 listen, uh, we're never going to cut spending in this town. Uh, as long as you've got a sixty-vote rule in the Senate, you're going to have Democrats who are going to get their pound of flesh. Right. Any time the Republicans want to do something like we just did with this omnibus of, of increasing defense spending. That's, that's the leverage they have because of those rules in the Senate. And I feel good about that because I said that when the Democrats were in control of the Senate. The 60-vote rule makes no sense, and we suffer because of it. As long as that's there, we'll never cut spending. So what are we going to try Jack to do? Craig says, that nobody actually takes responsibility for this. Yeah. It's just a continuing resolution. But can you, resolution. can you do what we did in the 90s, and can you, can you slow the rate of growth? Can you restrain the rate of growth and then allow the economy to grow faster? so that your expenses are growing yeah. slower than your revenues. We, we're, we're upside down on that right now, but we can fix that. So hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.